The Duke of Edinburgh passed away in April and the Queen made a return to in-person engagements as she met with world leaders at the G7 summit and attended a mini trooping the color for her official birthday. The Queen also hosted US President Joe Biden and Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison separately at Windsor Castle. Now, the Queen's goddaughter Victoria Pyra, whose mother, Margaret Rhodes, was the monarch's first cousin and close friend, said the Queen is coping well. Ms. Pryor told The Telegraph, how lucky are all of us that at 95 she is still the best granny everybody has. She added how the Queen's family would be helping her right now and said, Charles will step in, William, Anne. They all have such high respect for her that she won't be on her own at all. Ms. Pryor said her godmother is made of stern stuff and doesn't give in to oh poor me. The Queen's goddaughter revealed how the Queen looks after people and even offered her mother a grace and favor when her husband was sick. Ms. Pryor said the Queen was a regular visitor to her mother's house and would often pop in for an evening drink to put the world to rights. Her comments come after Prince Edward said the Queen struggled with lockdown life over the past year. The Earl of Wessex acknowledged the past months have been difficult for members of the firm, who experienced forced distance and separation due to the COVID-19 crisis like other families across Britain and the world. And he also spoke about how he thinks his parents coped with months of self-isolation. Asked during an interview with the BBC how lockdown was for the Queen and Prince Philip, Prince Edward said, I think they found it really difficult and really quite strange. The Earl said technology helped him remain in touch with his parents and other relatives during the lockdowns. He said, but thankfully we have phones we have computers so we were able to retain a reasonable amount of contact. We all made the effort and that was the important thing. Everybody did. Joking about gathering the whole family on a video call, the Earl added, we never dared get the whole family together on Zoom that would have caused chaos I think.